heard of the phenomenon that is the Harry Potter series. Known for its unique take on the idea of witchcraft and wizardry, this series shattered preconceived notions of children's literature. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone has won over 10 literary awards since its release, and the rest of the series has won over 30 literary awards. It has one of the most dedicated fan bases out of any literary, out of any literary work that there has ever been. Today, I will be sharing with you the basic plot of Harry Potter and the basic characters of Harry Potter, real-world parallels to the, events in the, to the events in the series, and finally, I will be sharing with you the personal impact that the series has had on those that have read it. Now, let's begin with the plot of Harry Potter. Voldemort's reign of terror is one of the main facets of Harry Potter. With his Death Eaters and Pureblood superiority, Voldemort is a true tyrant, and Harry, um, a mere teenager, must oppose him due to, due to a prophecy. Harry comes of age because of this trial, because of these trials and tribulations that Voldemort poses. His maturity develops through these, this adversity. Every year he has to go through these trials and tribulations because Voldemort is still opposing him year after year after year, trying to get what he wants. Harry grows with the help of his friends, and he truly matures by the end of the series. There are a lot of important characters in Harry Potter. It is most noted, um, one of the most notable features of Harry Potter is its huge array of characters, but I'll be sharing with you some of the most important ones. Hermione, who values education, righteousness, and justice. Ron, who values friendship, identity, and loyalty. Harry, who values justice, redemption, and family. Dumbledore, who values morality, or good versus evil, victory and education, Snape, who values infatuation and self-competence, and Luna, who values individuality, freedom, and self-expression. Now that we have had a basic understanding of the plot of the Harry Potter series, let's now examine the real-world parallels that these plots and situations present. Voldemort and his party of Death Eaters are ver very much parallel of Nazism. Voldemort is a parallel of Hitler. He is a half-blood himself, but preaches pure blood superiority, just as Hitler did not look of Aryan descent, but obviously valued that. Um, pure blood superiority is also a parallel of Aryan superiority, as recently stated. Um, in the wizarding world, there has been an influx in the series of more um, muggle-borns, and that makes um, traditionalists like Vol Voldemort and his followers very angry. There's a huge emphasis on heritage in, in both of the parties, Nazi and Death Eater Party. And there is, um, an, an, like I said, an infiltration of unclean blood that is happening in both circumstances. The house elves in the Harry Potter series are mirrored of traditional women's roles. They are seen as status symbols by the rich. They are not to be seen working in the shadows. Harry, Harry does not even know that house elves exist until the second book, whenever Ron has to tell him. Ron being a pureblood and of, um, of living in wizarding standards for his entire life. They are happy with the place that they hold in society, minus a few radicals, just as women were happy with their roles in um, traditional settings. Though there are a few radicals, as stated, um, Dobby and his thirst for freedom from the Malfoy family, and Hermione, though she is not a house elf, was a huge house elf advocate for, um, for house elf rights when she invented her um, spew campaign, her Society for the Protection of Elfish Welfare in the Goblet of Fire. Finally, I would like to share some of the personal impacts that the Harry Potter series has had on myself and others that grew up with the series. Empathy. There is a huge emphasis on friendship in the Harry Potter series. Harry spends all of his time with his friends as Hogwarts is a boarding school. Um, the power of love is tangible and useful in this series. Harry is protected by his mother's sacrifice, and this sacrifice aids him and protects him physically from harm. There's a huge emphasis on acceptance. Um, this is exhibited in the character of Hagrid, who is seen as this burly man of little intelligence, but when you get to know him, he is actually a sweetheart who has high intelligence for what he actually knows and has been around. The Harry Potter series preaches that all blood types are equal. Muggleborns as just as are just as important in society as purebloods, and that is something that Harry and Dumbledore 
fight Voldemort against. Those who read Harry Potter at a young age are also less prejudiced. Um, there is a presentation of Wizarding World morals, so you see a morality system from an outside perspective, enabling you to truly see the problems with morality in that society. Um, prejudice ha is seen as bad in that universe. Um, and Voldemort and his Death Eaters are very prejudiced and get smuggleborns, and this is seen as something that is morally wrong. Th though bigots are presented in a sympathetic light, so we see truly why Voldemort thinks this way and why his followers feel this way. Today I've shared with you the plot of Harry Potter, the real world parallels that the plot presents, and finally the impacts that it has on those who have read it. Harry Potter is truly a classic, strong in its morality, individually quirky world, and network of dedicated fans. Though the story of Harry Potter, the boy who lived, might eventually fade due to, the, due to the test of time, the lessons and impact of the story has had on all of those who have read it and will read it will never truly go away. As in the world